into so madam speaker heart is investing 400 million to establish state-of-the-art steam labs so this will will also include not just things for mechatronics and engineering and so forth but also computers for creative designs for managing sound stages and so forth so within those labs there will be a place for persons who would want to pursue the technical elements of the creative industry. Yeah, yeah. So these labs, as I said before, will feature robotic kits, virtual welding simulators, drone technology, hydroponics, and 3D printing, uh, 3D printers, ensuring that our children from all backgrounds can access world-class technical education. To, so, to further support STEM talent, we are launching the Boost Building Opportunities for Outstanding STEM Students program. Beginning in April 2025, Hart graduates in level four STEM-related courses will be eligible for a grant of up to 300,000 to purchase specialized tools, software to start their business. Madam Speaker, I know that there are many, there are many in Jamaica who are skeptical of technology. Uh, they, they see technology as, as a threat. Madam Speaker, we can't view technology in that way. Technology is imminent, it is ubiquitous, and it is universal. Can't escape it. AI, that is artificial intelligence, is reshaping industries worldwide. When the first industrial revolution started, Jamaica was still a colony. That's a reality. So we didn't, Jamaica didn't benefit from the first industrial revolution. And in fact, in a strange way, when you read capitalism and slavery, you would see that it is technically the advance of technology that made slavery unprofitable and which technically, depending on which historian you read, led to the end of slavery as an economic way of production. So technology is not bad. I mean, technology is a liberating tool if you approach it the right way. So Madam Speaker, when the information industrial revolution came about, the information age, which is not more than 50 years old, Jamaica was still trying to industrialize. So we, we, we missed another wave of technology as a colonial developing country. We are now in the fifth industrial revolution and Jamaica cannot afford to be left behind. Technology provides the ability to leapfrog and we must position ourselves to do so. I have given directives to the Minister of Education to ensure that AI is prominent in our national training and development strategy, which is why we appointed an AI task force. This government is committed to ensuring that Jamaica is an active player and not a spectator in the global AI revolution. From the recommendations of the National Artificial Intelligence Task Force, we are implementing an AI work readiness strategy that includes integrating AI and coding into school curricula at all levels and promoting dedicated teacher training programs on AI. And we are launching a prompt engineering course through the Heart Trust NSTA 
to train students and public sector professionals in using AI tools effectively. Madam Speaker, in partnership with the Amber Group, the government will also establish a cutting edge local AI lab, a public private center of excellence where developers, researchers, entrepreneurs, and students can collaborate on AI solutions. The AI lab will serve as the catalyst for a new era of technological advancement in Jamaica. Madam Speaker, AI will disrupt some traditional jobs, but it will create new high paying opportunities. This government is ensuring that Jamaicans are equipped to seize those opportunities and lead in the digital economy. Madam Speaker, we will also be using AI tools to help our children learn. We are developing the Jamaica Learning Assistant, a groundbreaking AI-powered platform designed to revolutionize learning with an end-to-end -end AI generated and curated content, fully aligned with the national curriculum. And I don't know if the video is queued, but let me give you a preview of what it could do. Introducing Jamaica Learning Assistant, the world's most comprehensive AI educational platform, reimagining learning for Jamaica. It's like giving every child a personal mentor who adapts to their needs and pace. Interactive adventures that make science and math come alive. Human-like AI tutors, detailed explanations, humor, poems, interactive tests, mind maps for visual understanding, videos and real life applications of knowledge. So each lesson isn't just learned, but lived. Who are scientists? Scientists are people who study the natural world using observation, experimentation, and reasoning. Teacher, tell me a joke about scientists. Why did the scientists bring a ladder to the lab? Because they wanted to reach new heights in their research. Come with us as we transform education for all our children. Madam Speaker, we are determined not to be left behind in this revolution. So we are going to be early adopters of the technology. And I encourage all parents, if, if you haven't yet done so, you know, yeah. download one of the artificial intelligence apps. Play around with it. Ask it questions. You would be surprised how well <laughs> structured, coordinated, and in-depth the answers you receive are. You, you would be surprised how you can train these AI um, bots to do specific tasks. So I would encourage all Jamaicans not to fear AI, but to develop an inquisitive mind about it. Let us not become spectators while another wave of technological development is going on. Let us ride that wave. Madam Speaker, starting September 2025, we will implement a dedicated school bus system for rural Jamaica to ensure equitable access, improved attendance, and enhance safety while easing financial burden.